Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Two Row. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always extremely grateful. I'm going to do a Scorpio Love Prediction reading for July 12th through July 18th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space energy as well. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I'm always most humbled, most honored, and very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my Scorps, what's going on with my loving, kind, intense Scorpios. Show me what's going on with my Scorpios. Show me what's going on with my Scorpios. Show me, Spirit Guys, what's going on with my Scorpios. Let's see, Scorps, what you got going on. I have Temperance, the Hermit, Ten of Swords, Judgment, and Ten of Pentacles. Well, Scorp, this is someone that you've been with. This is the temperance card leads your reading, which means this could be a Sagittarius person. But more importantly, this is a person that you have had to have great patience with. This is a person that you've had to slow your roll, not give them everything that you have, but have great patience with this person. Then you have the hermit card, which could be a Virgo person, a Sagittarius is temperance. Virgo person is the hermit card. The Hermit card says that it's a card of learning. They have taught you how to have patience. They have taught you how to have patience. They have taught you to look within yourself because the Hermit card is also a card of looking within yourself, uh, teaching, um, uh, uh, introspection, looking at yourself and picking yourself apart. They have taught you how to do that. You have learned from this person. But unfortunately, this this um, situation is over because you have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords means you're done with it. You're done with this situation. You know, you've looked inside. You've been patient. You've been kind. You've also been um, looked at yourself and saw that this is um, something perhaps that you need to work on. And then you ended the relationship. But guess what? You have that judgment card, which means that this relationship has come back. This is a relationship that has taught you. This is a relationship that you have learned from. And this is a relationship with this judgment card means for me that you have realized that you want to be with this person. You and this person are getting back together. You know why? Because you have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is the card of completeness, happy home, happy money's good. All is complete with this situation. If you get with this person and stay with this person, that's what you're seeing. The Ten of Pentacles. Give me another three to five minutes, please. I lay out the first five cards just to give you a general overview of the reading. The second part of the reading gives you the actual storyline that the Spirit Guides want me to tell you. So if this is your story, please take a moment, sit back and relax. Give me another three to five minutes and let me clarify the cards to give you the total reading that the Spirit Guides want me to tell you. So let's see, why is this Temperance card here? Show me why the Temperance card is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why does a Scorpio have a temperance card here? Show me, Spirit Guides. Oh. Scorpio, you love this person. You have a two of cups here. Two of cups means that you totally love this person. You and this person have the same heart space, the same mind space. You um, are affectionate toward them. You have public displays of affection with them. You touch on each other. You kiss each other. You love each other. This is a person. That's why you're being patient because you love them. You love them. You and guy, you and this person gets along greatly when it when it all um when everything comes together. You get along greatly. Let's see why the hermit card is here. Show me why the hermit card. Why do you learn the lesson? Why is this hermit card here? Show me, spirit guys. Why is the hermit card here? Ah, <clears throat> uh, you have the princess of swords. Uh, I do believe, yes, you do have great, you have, um, you get along with this person, you're being patient, but you've got to learn to communicate and communicate in every which way that you need to do. That means either through, um, your, um, emails, texts, uh, voicemails, whatever you need to do, 
you need to learn how to do that with this person. This is a person that uh, loves to communicate and you need to learn how to communicate with them. And that's what's holding you back, that communication. You are learning that that is, that is important. Communication is important. Let's see why this Ten of Swords, why is this over? Why is this Ten of Swords here for my Scorpios? Show me, Spirit Guides. You don't see a future. You have the Ten of Swords because in your mind, perhaps you don't see a future with this person. You don't see a future, so you figured you beat them to the punch. Is that what it is, Scorpio? You beat them to the punch and tell them goodbye. But guess what? This judgment card is coming up. And when the judgment card comes up, that means that you might have ended it because you thought you didn't see a future. Uh, but hey, this judgment, you went back and got them. You went back and got them. Let's see why this judgment card is here. Show me why the judgment card is here. Show me, spirit guides. You have a queen of cups. You know why? Because you know they're your queen of cups. They're your energy space. Whether it's a man or a woman, you can take anything to them. They nurture you. They take all what all your flaws. They take everything. This is an emotional card for you. This is an emotion. This is an intense emotional card. This reading is intense because it's an emotional card for you. That queen of cups means that no matter what. That's why you went running back and you you need to stay there because this queen of cups energy that you have, this is an emotional energy. This is an energy from your heart space. This is an energy of nurturing. They take care of you. They know how to talk to you. They know how to be quiet when they need to be quiet and listen. They are an energy that you cannot do without. You have to have them. This energy you cannot do without and you figured this out. You figured this out. Let's see. Why is this ten of pentacles here? Show me spirit guys. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here for my Scorpios? Show me why the Ten of Pentacles is here for my Scorpios. Ah, uh, you have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you have been very generous and very kind to this person, but you know what? You are pulling back to make sure. You're just pulling back. You're being a little more cautious now. You're trying to get balance now. Because you really want this Ten of Pentacles, which means you want to be complete with them. But you are pulling back just to get that balance. But you really want this Ten of Pentacles. You don't want to have to pull back. You want to give them everything. Every emotion. All your, You don't mind about giving them your money. You want to share. You don't care. That is what you want from this situation. That is what you want from the situation. So let's see. Let's start from the beginning of this read. The temperance card means you could be a Sagittarius person, but you're kind to them. You're patient with this situation. Then you have the Two of Cups over this temperance card. The Two of Cups is a card of a heart space that is on fire. You love it like you have the same morals. When you're out, you have public displays of affection. People look at you and go, really? Go get a room. But you know, you really have a heart space for this person. You really, really love this person. This is your plus one. Then you're looking at yourself because perhaps this person that told you you're not communicating right because you have the Prince of Swords. You need to be able to tell them. Don't hold back. You need to be able to tell them how you feel about them. And that's why that Prince of Swords said you need to communicate with them however you need to communicate. Uh, text, uh, email, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you need to DM, the whatever you need to do, you need to keep that line of communication open. I think that might have been a flaw for you, and you've learned that. Then, because because you ended this relationship, because you thought you didn't see a future with them with that Two of Wands. Ten of Swords means ending. Ten, two of Wands means you thought you didn't see a future with them. Then you have the Judgment card. The Judgment card is a card of realization. You get back with this person because they're your queen of cups. They give you everything. They take care of you. They're nurturing. You can take anything to them. They hold it dear to their heart. They know how to cook clean. They do everything. That is an emotional card. You have to have this energy. That's why you went running back to this energy. Ten of Pentacles means it's complete. You have the Six of Pentacles over there, which means you have been very generous. But you pulled back. But you really, really want that Ten of Pentacles. That's what you want. You want a completeness, a wholeness. That's what you want. So let's see. What do the angel oracles have to say? What do the angel, angel or, oracles have to say? Huh. Let's see what the angel oracles have to say. Oh. They say yes. You're going to get this energy. You got to get this energy. They say yes. You're going to get back together with them and you're going to figure it out. They say yes. Communicate. Figure it out. You want this energy and they want this energy too. 
that's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Scorpio, for um, July um, 12th to the 18th. 